and we are now just days away from total eclipse casting nature's coolest shadow on North Texas and schools across the area are preparing students to not just safely see it but to truly understand the science behind it. Wayne Carter is in the classroom to show us the larger than life way that students are learning about the upcoming eclipse. It's not every day kids walk into their school gym and see this which they're like, oh my gosh, Coach McDougall, what are we doing today? I'm like, well, we're doing science in the gym. Britt McDougall teaches PE at Timberline Elementary in grade five. But these days, leading up to the eclipse, she's also giving kids minds a workout. So here we go. Where is this? We have our sun. It's called Star Lab, an inflatable planetarium. The science department at Grapevine Colleyville ISD has been sending it campus to campus to help their youngest students ask questions and get a better understanding for what's happening in the upcoming eclipse. Yes. Sure. It's like you're actually in it, in the setting of it. It's like you're in a rocket, basically. Do you see how it is actually moving? The kids lie back as a computer program zooms around outer space, projecting images of the planets, sun, and stars, allowing them to get a better sense of how they move, interact with one another, and how every blue moon, they all line up and give us an amazing sight. It's gonna be like, maybe since everything's gonna be like aligned up with the sun, it's gonna be like a dark day. It was cool because we get to see the planet like in real life, like zoom in mm -hmm. uh, and we get to see like we get to know more about uh, how eclipse happen. I'll look around again. If you're wondering why Coach McDougall is teaching this rather than say the science teacher, well it's because the district wanted kids to really have fun with it, be inquisitive and look at it differently than their daily classwork just enjoying the excitement of the eclipse. More than knew what an eclipse was, but to actually figure out by seeing like the orbit, how everything is gonna line up. And I think when they realize the position of the sun and the moon and then earth and how that all is going to interact and be where it's gonna be, I think being able to see this two weeks before is gonna help. And while the eclipse was top of mind, with any good engaging lesson plans, questions keep coming. Students wanted to know more about the other planets out there and what they're like. I also learned that like, I thought Saturn's rings were made out of gas, uh -huh. but they're actually made of like rocks and ice. See, I didn't know that. A little lesson for all of us, thanks to that rocket ship zooming us through the solar system and taking the far away and bringing it almost within arm's reach. Hey, did you enjoy your time in the Star Lab today? Wayne Carter, in the classroom for NBC5.